Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well. Today I am going to teach you English grammar and our topic is the adjective. Now our topic is the adjective. An adjective is word that adds something to the meaning of a noun. Take an example: a happy boy, a sad girl, a big elephant, a small mouse, a tall tower, a short film, a new city, an old town. All these words: happy, sad, big, small, tall, short, and old, describe noun. Boy, a girl, elephant, mouse, tower, fill, city, town. Now, students, take some other examples. Ramesh is a handsome boy. Mohini is a pretty girl. Agra is a historical city. Amit is a tall boy. students in these sentences handsome pretty historical and tall are adjectives an adjective describes a noun so an adjective is a word that adds something to the meaning of a noun words that describes people animals things and places are called adjectives all describing words are adjectives and and they describe the nouns now in further slides we will learn more about the adjectives and its types so student in this slide we will learn more about kinds of adjectives there are seven types of adjectives adjectives may be divided into the following classes first adjectives of quality second adjectives of quantity third adjectives of number fourth distributive numeral adjectives fifth demonstrative adjectives sixth possessive adjectives and the last one is interrogative adjectives so these are the different types of adjectives so in this slide we will learn about adjective of quality adjective of quality answers the question what kind of an adjective that tells us about the kind of a person a place or thing we are referring to is called an adjective of quality for example ashok is a kind boy the foolish crow tried to sing the clever fox walked away with the cheese so in these sentences the word kind is an adjective which tells what kind of boy ashok is the word foolish is an adjective which tells what kind of crow it was the word clever is an adjective which tells what kind of fox it was now take some other example also suresh suresh is an expert driver second example this is an ex excellent book china is a large country lata is a thin girl in these sentences expert excellent large and thin are adjectives of quality 
they describe qualities of a person or things activity act, adjectives of quality answers the question of what kind so adjective which tell us what kind of a person or thing is called an adjectives of quality now in this slide we will learn about adjective of quantity now take some example he ate some rice she has much money there is little water in a jug now in these sentences the adjective tells us how much of a thing is meant such a adjectives which tell us how much are called adjectives of quantity now take some other examples she was not telling the whole truth allow sufficient time to get there she gave a little laugh i do not have much money with me in these sentences whole sufficient little and much are adjectives of quantity they tell us how much of a thing is meant adjectives of quantity answers the question how much active adjectives which tell us how much of a thing is meant are called adjectives of quantity now students in this slide we will learn about adjective of number an adjective that tells the number of a person animals or things we are referring to or in what order is called an adjective of number an adjective of number answers the question how many now take some example the hand has five fingers ashok has many flowers there is some milk in the glass in the above sentences the adjective tells us how many persons or things are meant such adjectives which tells us how many are called adjectives of number Now take other examples. Most boys like to play cricket. There are no eggs in the refrigerator. A rainbow has seven colors. In these sentences, most, no, and seven are adjectives of number. They tells us how many persons or things are meant. they are always used with countable nouns so adjective of numbers answers the question how many an adjective that tells us how many person or things are meant is called the adjective of number now in this slide we will learn about distributive numeral adjectives distributive numeral adjectives are those which refer to each one of a number or group they show that the things or person are counted collectively they refer to members of a group as individual the list of distributive adjectives are each every either neither any one both now take some example each girl perform in the drama every word of it is absolutely true either computer will do neither news is false in these sentences each 
every, either, and neither are the distributive numeral adjectives. They refer to each one of a number. An adjective that refers to each one of a number is called distributive numeral adjective. Now, in this slide, we will learn about demonstrative adjective. Now, take some example. This boy is strong. That boy is weak. These mangoes are sour. Those mangoes are sweet. It will be noticed that the adjectives in these sentences are used to point out person or things. Such adjectives which point out persons or things are called demonstrative adjectives. Now take other example. This photograph is mine. These pens are his. That notebook is hers. Those garments are theirs. In these sentences, this, these, that and those are demonstrative adjectives. They point out which person or thing is meant. Demonstrative adjectives answer the question which. This and that are used with singular nouns and these and those are used with plural nouns. Adjectives which point out which person or thing is meant are called demonstrative adjectives. Now, in, the, in this slide, we will learn about the possessive adjective. Now, take some example. This is my book. That is our school. That is your book. His book is on the table. So, in the sentences, the adjective my, our, your, his are used before nouns and are called possessive adjective. Possessive adjectives answer the question whose. Now take more examples. This is my friend. These are our photographs. Please give me your pen. Mohan has filled up his application form. Mohini helps her mother in household work. The dog has hurt its tail. Their behavior was very rude towards us. In these sentences, my, our, your, his, her, its and their are possessive adjectives. They are used to show that someone owes a or possess a thing. They are always used with the nouns. An adjective which tells us about a thing owned by someone is called possessive adjectives. Now, the last kind of adjective is interrogative adjective. In this, take some example. What kind of an animal is it? Question mark. Which house is hers? Whose pen is this? In these sentences, the adjective what, which and whose are in question form. They are therefore called interrogative adjectives. Now take some other examples. Which book do you want to buy? What manner of man is he? Whose wristwatch is this? In these sentences, which, what and whose are interrogative adjectives. They are used with the nouns to ask question. Adjective which, what and whose when used with nouns to ask questions are all called interrogative adjectives. I hope students you understand the chapter more clearly to understand the chapter more clearly 
and completely you all have to do this exercise in your notebook now in this exercise you have to underline the adjective in the following sentences and write their kinds in the boxes that was an honest man in this honest is an adjective and it is a adjective of quality second sentence archna wears a pink gown and pink is an adjective and it is adjective of quality always drink clean water clean is an adjective and it is adjective of quality franklin is a foolish fellow foolish is a adjective and it is adjective of quality ashoka was a just king just an adjective is an adjective and it is adjective of quality lazy students never do well so lazy is an adjective and it is adjective of quality we have our main meal at lunch time now in this sentence main is our the is our adjective and it is adjective of quality he lives in a big house big is an adjective and it is adjective of quality i like these mangoes in this sentence these is an adjective and it is a demonstrative adjective who is this man in this sentence this is their so this refers to a demonstrative adjective and it is an adjective but we also considered it as interrogative sentence uh, adjective also because it is asking who is this man so who is an adjective and it also considered as interrogative adjective so students i hope you all understood the chapter more clearly and completely now you all have to do this exercise in your notebook and please do comment in the comment box in your name class and roll number and have a safe stay at home do study well thank you